What's up everyone? Erica here and I'm back today with another video for you. Coming to you live from the floor. Welcome to my channel everyone. If this is by chance the first time you are clicking on one of my videos, then welcome. I am so happy to have you here. And if you are a returning viewer of mine, I'm also so happy that you are here. You guys, I miss you, okay? I don't know if that's a weird thing to say, but I do. This is the first time I filmed in probably months. I, mm, is that true? I don't know, I could be lying, but not intentionally. I miss filming videos, I miss editing, I just, oh my gosh, do I miss it, you guys. I miss YouTube so much, but life is life in, you know? It's doing its thing, kicking my butt. <laughs> nothing serious, nothing, nothing is wrong, okay? I just wanna come on and say that, but you know, as most of you probably know, I do have a one-year-old, I have a one-year-old, uh, my son Jack just turned one on March 7th, so we've been super busy with his birthday party, his Disneyland trip, along with just like having a baby. And my daughter Juliana is five, going on 13. She is in kindergarten, and those are just like all the things right now. We've got all the things going on, but in the best way, in the best way. But today, I am gonna be sharing with you guys what we're giving the kids for Easter this year. This is in collaboration with my bestie Saria over at Dream It DIY. This is a collaboration that we've done, not every year, but this is a video that she and I love to put out for you guys because, I don't know, it's always so helpful. I personally think it's super helpful. I like these kind of videos. It gives me different ideas. I'm hoping to get this out soon enough to maybe where you guys can get some stuff for yourselves if you head to Walmart, Target, or Amazon. I did not get the kids too much from Amazon this year, but whatever I did, and if I am able to link them, I will have it in my little Amazon storefront for you guys. So if there's anything you guys are ever interested in, of course, always feel free to leave me a comment or message me on Instagram, all of that good stuff. But I will shut my trap. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is a collaboration. So if you are here first, then be sure you head over to Saria's channel after you watch this one to see what she's getting those two darling girls, okay? I'm sorting through all their stuff right now, you guys. And I'm gonna tell you with confidence, I went overboard. I have like five bags of stuff here. That's why I'm on the floor. I feel like I went too hard with um, Valentine's Day, so I had some carryover that I'm like, I'll just put that in her Easter basket. And I remember this feeling last year. I was like, this is too much for her Easter basket. I'm gonna save some for her birthday. So we'll, you know, I feel like there's a theme here. I tend to overdo it. So I guess I'm gonna get started with Juliana. And as I mentioned, my kids' ages are, I have a five-year-old little girl and a one-year-old little boy. Obviously, it's a little bit of a challenge to get things for Jack because he's a baby and his birthday, like I said, just passed, so he does have a ton of toys. Another thing I wanna mention is Easter is my daughter's favorite holiday. You would think it's Christmas, but no, it's Easter. She is an absolute fiend for candy, so she gets royally spoiled with presents, but like a ton of sweets, so I don't tend to give her a lot in her Easter basket, so if you're wondering like, oh my gosh, you didn't even give her any candy, that's why. One tradition that I stick with almost every year for Juliana's Easter basket is gifting her a swimsuit. We live in Southern California, so we have fantastic weather. Our summers are wonderful and we use our backyard, our pools, we go to the beach, tons of water activities. So it's very useful for us. So I'm gonna share those with you first. I picked out two swimsuits for her this year because that girl is hitting a little growth spurt and she has completely outgrown almost all of her swimsuits, so I thought it was fitting to just buy her two. Target had really cute ones this summer, or for this, you know, this spring into summer, and I'm really excited about it. So the first one I got her is this adorable, like, cheetah print material, but I'm loving the mauve color um, with, like, bright neon colors. Like, I just think it's a really fun little clash there, and I'm a huge fan of the rash guard tops. I don't want that girl in two pieces, you guys. I will tell it to you straight. <laughs> And then the next one I bought is actually my favorite. Like I'm just completely obsessed with it. It is this like flower child, super hippie, um, neon bright floral print. I love it so much. Like she gets a gorgeous tan in the summer and I just feel like these colors are really gonna pop. So cute. So each of these swimsuits were 20 bucks. So just for reference. And then I also got her this, I believe from Walmart. Yeah. And it's this little um, like, 
terry cloth robe zip up so she can absolutely just wear it like a little robe it comes all the way undone but she can also zip it up as a cover-up this was 10 bucks at walmart also for juliana i got her this cute little set i just thought it was really cute at um target so i just I don't know I feel like she's always going through her clothes so quickly and I just I'm obviously very into like my hippie era right now I love neutrals I'm in a neutral girl era for myself but for Juliana I'm loving the flower child hippie vibes so keep that in mind <laughs> I got her these adorable little bell-bottom pants the waist seems really nice like it's not gonna slip off of her I did get it in a size bigger um, and this says this says it has that durable knee but you guys juliana must just be playing like baseball at school because she's ripping through her knees she's ripping her knees in all her pants like she's sliding into home base okay i don't i don't know what's going on um but these were really affordable these were eight dollars i thought these were so so cute and to go with them i got her this super cute how many times am i gonna say cute in this video like i should make a little counter here uh, this super adorable tank top and it has just a bunch of different pastel colored smiley faces so I thought this little smiley face with the purple pants was just really really precious the last item of clothing I got for her was this Sonic shirt you guys my daughter is a freaking obsessed with Sonic right now I am trying against like everything that I can to get her to like something else but nope she is set on Sonic so that is just something for her mama had to give in and get her something that she likes I think she'll be really excited about it another graphic tee just what she needs sticking with like clothing and stuff I guess I will show you these little headbands that I picked up for her at Target I love these so much again you guys if you're following me on Instagram I am super into checkered I am super into neutrals right now I don't know what it is I'm just on a kick so when I saw these, I felt the need to get them for her, and you'll understand why if you know me. You guys also know I kind of have a thing with butterflies. It's like a transfix. I'm like, it's like a fixation. I don't know. I love me some butterflies. So this little headband set was six dollars, and it came with four little headbands. There's two that have you know little butterflies go all the way on the top, like a light pink and a hot pink. Then we have this adorable. Uh, checkered print with like red and pink I love that one and then the last one there it goes little butterfly prints on this light pink I just like this I think it's very dainty very cutesy very girly and Juliana is absolutely like an accessorizing kind of girl keeping with the headbands this is something that I purchased from Timu and I literally think it was like under a dollar so I had to get them Juliana is very into Gabby's dollhouse on Netflix and these are little Gabby cat ears but just like a headband I'm not kidding you guys I think it was like maybe 40 cents or something like that so I'm like yes save that I purchased a big old order from Timu which I still need to get that video out for you guys but I was thinking ahead I'm like this would be such a cute idea for her Easter basket all right kind of getting into the fun stuff if you will I got her some fun little activities that's something that I love to do for her the first thing was this little uh, egg kinetic sand kit and it comes with three little eggs a pink a green and a yellow Juliana loves kinetic sand and I honestly love playing with it too um, this is one of the things that I did buy from Amazon and it was a really good deal if you guys have little ones that like the tablet which all of them do right my daughter is a huge fan of the show Wild Kratts and they talk about animals and stuff so I found a matching game themed to Wild Kratts and I think this was around four dollars so I thought that that was a really good purchase for something that like we could play together I also grabbed her one of these mess free uh, Crayola like coloring pages we are huge fans of these we have a ton of them we love Bluey we love Bluey I'm so grateful that Juliana is still like super into Bluey we watch it my son is actually starting to get into Bluey he loves the song but sometimes when the episode comes on he's like okay who cares I just wanted the music <laughs> But now he's starting to actually like watch the show so i'm hoping that bluey sticks around in my household for a really long time anyway um i actually came across this for three dollars off at walmart it was a really 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 good deal i even scanned it on the app to make sure i was seeing that correctly but three dollars off these can be kind of on the pricey side from time to time so i was really excited about this find specifically the last thing regarding like kind of toys is I got Juliana a yo-yo and this was in the dollar section um, at Target Juliana has been kind of inquiring about a yo-yo 
I don't know how it's gonna go, you guys. She might open it and tangle it like the moment she uses it for the first time. That's what I'm betting on. But she was interested in it, so I'm like, why not? It was literally a dollar. I'm just gonna, it says it was three dollars, not a dollar, like I thought. So if you want a yo-yo for three dollars, I guess, there you go. I got Juliana, a big old peep. This has a story behind it, okay? I have told you guys in the past and you guys love to drag me for it. No, I'm just kidding. Some of my friends do drag me for it for sure, but I am a fan of Peeps, okay? I think it's really fun, like all the flavors that they come out with, but I'm just a fan of the OG Peeps. Um, I do like them, but Juliana, it's like every year she wants to like them. So every time it's Easter, like I said, it's her favorite holiday. She's so jazzed. She's so excited that it's Easter and she sees the Peeps and she's like, I love these, right? And there's like a wall of them. I'm like, honey, you you don't though. Like you don't love them. And so I don't want to say that because if she's getting this like excited feeling and to be like, no, you don't like it, but I'm not going to buy her a whole pack of them when I know she doesn't like them. I sure as heck do not need to be eating a whole pack of peeps. Like I just don't, I have no business doing that. So I thought that this would be perfect. It's a bigger one. Obviously it's like the size of my hand. It's a big one, but I think this is better. Like she can have a couple of bites and then I know she's going to get over it, but like the novelty is there, right? She sees a peep in her Easter basket. That's all we need. I also thought these were such a good idea from Target. It is a white chocolate hot drink bomb. So inside it's, um, or it's a white chocolate topped with sprinkles filled with mini marshmallows and cocoa mix. So it's a hot cocoa bomb, but it's a little egg with sprinkles. And I just think that this is, you know, she's gonna, she likes these. So I thought that this was a good idea because you can make it in the shape of an egg and it's cute on theme. We love that. Lastly, I got her some nerds gummy clusters because they are, you know, the little nerd characters are dressed as bunnies. So in it goes. Okay, let's get into the things that the kids are kind of like, we got them each, something like that. So. As you probably saw in my thumbnail, I about screamed when I saw these in Target. Are you kidding me? Like, this is the kind of stuff, like I'm thriving being a girl mom and a boy mom. Like Mickey and Minnie matching bunny plushes and they're the Squishmallows, they're so sweet. Um, Juliana is a huge plushy girl, huge plushy girl. And uh, she sleeps with these kind of like pillowy ones. So I thought that they would be beneficial for her. For seasonal plushies, I do put them away. So it's nice because when Easter comes back next year, I'll bust these out and it's like new, like all over again, they get plushies, you know? But again, I'm just dead that I get to have like one of each. So those are gonna go in their baskets. I just think it's so cute. And I love, I love getting them matching stuff, even though they're, they have such a big age gap between them. I, it's like special to me anyway. The kids are also going to be getting in their Easter baskets Whiskware. You guys, I wish Whiskware would sponsor me because I am trying to turn all of my friends onto these. At my daughter's school, she has to have a, like she goes with her lunch, but she also has to have a snack packed separately. They go in like two different bins so that when it's snack time, they're not fumbling around in their lunchbox. Enter Whiskware, okay? These are just genius to me. They're exactly what you see here. They come in three little containers and I usually only use these two. The top one is a little small, like it's, you know, for, she doesn't need to use all of them because she has lunch like an hour later, so I don't need to fill them to the brim, if you will. But I love these. We already have, what, three or four? But either way, I just think they're so cute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Juliana the bluey one because she's, you know, big sister. Jack is gonna get the bingo one and then this one I'm just gonna keep. And maybe I'll give it to Juliana for her birthday or something, I'm not sure. But these were at Costco and my friend Marissa was so kind enough to go like on a hunt for them. And I'm so glad that she did because I'm elated to have these. I'm so happy to have these. So each one of them is gonna get one of those. This is for both of them, but like Jack, He's not out there drawing with chalk yet, okay? But look at this. This I think is so smart. It was a little bit more expensive at Target. I understand that I can go to the Dollar Tree and get chalk, I understand that. But this is what I wanted. This container for the chalk is like game changer for us because it's a place that, it's like the backyard is a different turf. Juliana doesn't understand that like, we also need to clean up in the backyard when we're done playing. So this kind of shows you that, right? So I can say, hey Juliana, when you're done with the chalk, 
put it back where it belongs you know like the chalk just kind of stays everywhere and then when I'm feeling like oh my god the backyard's looking kind of sloppy I'm pretty much throwing away the chalk because it's just like annoying and I'll just buy a new one so I like that there's a ton in here and that it has a storage space for it so I'm really excited about that and the last thing that we got for both the kids were these adorable little Easter Bunny plates from Target again this will be one of those things that I put away and then when Easter comes around like I know that Jack obviously won't care too much about them like this year but next year I'll bust them out and be like hey I remember your little plates so Juliana got this one it's like an orange plate with a white bunny with yellow flowers and Jack got this yellow plate with a brown bunny holding a blue egg so I thought that these were super cute little again matching but different little plates so I'm excited to kind of stick those in their baskets all right so we're moving on to my baby boy let's see what we got Jack all right so as I mentioned Jack is one there isn't much that I can give him uh, but one thing that I definitely grabbed were his favorite snacks puppies the happy baby superfood puffs my son eats these like uh, oh my gosh like it like it's his job he like he's getting paid to devour them uh, we go through them so quickly he just it's his favorite thing and it's really uh, wonderful working on his dexterity, like his little motor skills. He's just great at grabbing them and like shoving them in his mouth. Um, so what I did for Juliana, Juliana was also obsessed with these. I filled a couple of Easter eggs with these for Juliana and it's kind of like a little rattle, but also like you can open them and it's like a treat for him as well. Juliana will obviously be getting some eggs filled with candy, but Jack's will be filled with the puffs. Um, I also got Jack. This adorable book I think this was maybe yeah the price tag is right here it was like five dollars at Walmart and I bought this um, during Valentine's Day actually because they already had a little like book section for Easter out already so that was beneficial for me and it is called mommy cuddles and it's just two bunnies in it I like it because the baby bunny is blue and the mommy is purple so I'm like that's me and Jackie <laughs> I also got Jack this cute little egg sorter from Walmart it was in the Easter section and it was five bucks I think that was a really good deal so it comes in a super cute like blue egg carton this alone is just so precious right so okay I feel like you guys know it's it's I literally said it's an egg sorter so you take an egg open it and inside there's shapes right so this one has the number five on the inside and a star with the little happy face on it so the point is you have to kind of like open them all up and then they have to sort them back together and like put them back in this little carton. I just think that that's a super like on theme but cute and age appropriate toy that helps his development. So I was happy with this purchase and for five bucks, like heck yeah. So one other thing that I got him and the next like category for Jack is gonna be like baby clothes. And I got him this little Burt's Bees pajama, pajamas this onesie and it is um they're fossils dinosaur fossils because hello love me some dinosaurs these were $15 and then also from Target my friend recommended these to me that she was getting for her son's Easter basket because total practical purchase and so adorable were these teeny tiny tube socks so these ones are a little bit longer like ankle like uh almost like to his shins probably but these are 12 to 24 month shoe sizes and there are six pairs and again you guys know I just said I'm in my neutral girly era so they have like white tan gray khaki like I just love that and then they're so simple and then this pair is a little more like fun <laughs> but these are looking like they'd be a little bit more on the ankle so I there's like mint hunter green tan mustard a peach color and then this like burnt orange so I don't know, I just thought that these were so cute, like I couldn't pass them up. So those are going in his Easter basket. And the last thing I got for Jack was also from Target, and I could not pass these up, you guys. I saw them and I immediately like gravitated towards them. I say it all the time, but I'm so grateful to live in a time where I'm a boy mom, and not every shirt says like, daddy's all star, or like little, mechanic or something like that like I just oh my gosh I you know and I do love dinosaurs but it's like do we need a dinosaur on a skateboard for every shirt that I'm gonna put him in like no and can we get away from just using red and blue and green like come on come on 
Anyway, I am so grateful to live in a world where baby boys can wear neutrals and they're just, they have adorable clothes made for them. So this is just like a white and tan striped t-shirt. This one I loved so much. It says, aim for progress, forget about perfection with a little smiley face. I just love that. Cause I'm like, let me put Jack in that to remind myself, you know? <laughs> and then this one I loved as well. It's like this distressed uh, hunter green shirt. So I don't know. I just loved the combination of the colors all together. Obviously he's not gonna be wearing them at the same time, but. Can you imagine like little tube socks? I can't, I cannot. Well, now that I've shown you guys what is going in the baskets, I'm gonna go ahead and put them together quickly and give you kind of a feel. I tend to do this every year where I buy everything and then I sit down and share it with you guys. And then when it comes to actually filling the baskets, I have too much stuff and there's not enough room. So <laughs> we'll see how it works this year. So let's, let's see, you guys are gonna see with me. Does this work out? I don't know, let's find out together. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for what we are gifting our kids for Easter this year, what we are putting in their baskets. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe got an idea or two. Do your kids love Easter as much as Christmas? I feel like that's so weird that she loves Easter more than Christmas, but I don't know. I think it has everything to do with the candy. Friendly reminder to go check out Saria's channel so you can see what her daughters, Daylin and Kala, are getting for Easter this year. Something I would love to know from you guys is when you do their Easter baskets, is it from the Easter bunny or is it like from you guys? Or are you doing two separate baskets, like one from the bunny, one from you guys? I need to know. I think I've asked you guys this about Santa as well. Fill me in, fill me in. I gotta get this stuff reined in because they're getting, she's getting too old. She's getting too smart. That's gonna do it for me today, friends. As always, I wanna thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and I hope to see you back again for the next one. Bye.